We're going to start out the evening with an Audi Award honoring uh, the lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender employee resource group of the year, which I now know as an ERG. Um, so employee resource groups are also known as business groups or networks. They have great power to make change in their organizations by enlisting the support of both the LGBT communities and straight allies throughout their organizations. The Employee Research Group of the Year, uh, chosen each year, has shown a passionate, innovative, and persistent commitment to furthering workplace equality for lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender people. And the finalists for the LGBT ERG of the Year Award are Blue Q Nuance with IBM Canada, Pride, LGBT and Ally Employee Networking Group, Morgan Stanley. Outserve, U.S. Department of Defense. And Pride, Team Member Network, Wells Fargo. So, and this year's award goes to a very special employee resource group. They played a major role in ending a discriminatory policy that affected literally <laughs> that affected literally millions of LGBT employees, service members, and their families. Don't ask, don't tell. So obviously, you probably already know what's coming next. But, and, and the winner this year is the US Department of Defense, LGBT. Let me just finish one more thing. So, so um, congratulations to OutServe. And there really is no better way to demonstrate why this year's ERG winner was selected than for you to see for yourselves. Hey, congratulations. Outserve. And accepting on behalf of Outserve, please welcome Allison Robinson and Josh Siegfried. It's an honor to accept this award on behalf of 6,000 LGBT service members who make up Outserve SLDN. I'm so proud of the organization and where we began while still serving in silence and have built the largest LGBT employee resource group in the country. More than that, I'm excited about the future. As I move to the position of co-chair of our newly combined organization, OutServe SLDN, we will welcome our brand new executive director, a West Point graduate, a former Air Force or Army officer. She wishes she was Air Force. <laughs> Allison comes to us from HRC and will lead us to the many tasks in front of us. She's just the right person at the right time to lead this organization. And I'm proud to be joined by her tonight to accept this award. Allison. Thanks, Josh. <laughs> you know, as, as an Army veteran and as a veteran of this movement, I am so humbled by the sacrifice that our soldiers, sailors, airmen, Marines, Coast Guardsmen make every day. They don't just serve the country that they love, but many of them chose to do so despite the extraordinary burden of don't ask, don't tell. I, I wonder if those of you who are in the audience tonight who served, whether you're LGBT or straight, would stand so that we could honor your service. Please stand. I'm very, very proud of the role that OutServe and SLDN played in putting an end to Don't Ask, Don't Tell 
uh, don't ask, don't tell once and for all. But LGBT service members still carry some extraordinary burdens. Uh, they fight for our freedoms, while their family members still don't have the same benefits that straight military spouses have. They have no equal opportunity or anti-discrimination protections. Our transgender brothers and sisters continue to serve in silence. They're barred from legal open service. And our veterans, I've heard it many times tonight, I didn't even realize there were LGBT veterans. Many of them still carry the stigma of so-called homosexual discharges. Mm -hmm. Now, unlike uh, traditional ERGs, we have no financial support from our management at the Pentagon <laughs> yet. We're entirely dependent upon donations, uh, and the average outserve member is in his or her early 20s. But we're strong, and we're unwavering in our commitment to make things better for LGBT service members and veterans. Your recognition of their service, their courage, their dedication, their integrity means so much to all of us, especially as we face the difficult challenges that are ahead. And so on behalf of them, thank you so much for this honor.